we're back to another Geek Smarts episode yeah. with my co-host, Caden Davis. Say hi, Caden. Hello. And uh, thanks for tuning back in, guys. Uh, so this is kind of a casual one. I don't have as much of a fancy backdrop as I would like. But you know what they say. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> into the comic unboxing. So we have here for you... Uh, a few different things. I would like to include a review in on this one, but uh, I just think there's too many comics to get to, Caden. Yeah. So we'll just do this unboxing, and then coming at you soon, we're going to do reviews for The Matrix Resurrections. And uh, coming not too long after, we'll uh, review uh, Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. So if you guys are interested in our thoughts, please tune in for that one. Hit that notification bell, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Yeah. Also, comment what you would like to see us review next. I know The Witcher 2 has been out for a little while. Haven't gotten around to it yet. Already, this looks like some stellar packaging, I would say. So this one, uh, this first one was an eBay purchase. I got this for a gift, a uh, Christmas gift for my friend Randa, who you guys have seen on here sometimes. And I had to get a set for myself. <laughs> I do love this cover. And I love uh, Spider-Man. And let's see what we have here, folks. All right. So we have a set. We got, and I have to say, uh, they look very good quality. I don't see a ding on them, do you? Uh, no, not really. So, some nice near mint copies. I got a great price on these ones. Spider Man uh, number one, the 1990s reprint. Peach Momoko variant cover. Or reprint, or what have you. I really like Peach Momoko as a cover artist. Although, you know, some say that she's hit or miss. But, uh, I love it when she's spot on. I think she nails this cover. Really, really enjoy that. So, there we go. Peach Momoko, uh, Spider-Man number one set. And then, uh, next I'm going to do this, these, uh, these guys, uh, collectible, uh, collection corner comics. I, uh, this is my first purchase ever made from them, but they were having a little Christmas sale. So I thought, why not take advantage of some of these, uh, to kind of fill in some of the, the runs that I'm going to be doing. Help. 
There we are. All right. Appears to be some some nice packaging here. And let's take a look at what we got, Caden. Yeah. Got it taped up very nicely. <laughs> mm. And here we go. So, we have The Amazing Spider Man number 800. I believe this is a first appearance. It's an Alex Ross cover. Uh, which is also a cover A, um, but it is the uh, first appearance of Red Goblin. Oh, hey, cool. Do you know who Red Goblin is? Yeah, a mix of uh, the Green Goblin and Carnage. Raising them right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, then we also have The Amazing Spider-Man issue 8. So trying to get all the Spider-Man runs that I can. We got Amazing Spider-Man issue 11. Starting to see a theme here. The Amazing Spider-Man annual number one. We have The Amazing Spider-Man number six. Amazing Spider-Man number seven. We have Amazing Spider-Man 13. Amazing Spider-Man 14. This is all the 2018 series, uh, for those that don't know, just by the cover. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 17. Amazing Spider-Man number 18. Have Amazing Spider-Man number 19. Starting to see a theme here, Caden? Uh, yeah. Amazing. They're all Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man number 20. Well, not for much longer. Uh, we do have some other ones in here. I got Amazing oh. Spider-Man number 16. We got, uh, let's see, uh, Batman, Ninja Turtles, Number three, issue one. Got Amazing Spider-Man 21. Psyched you out. We're back to the Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> Thought we were switching up. We ain't. Amazing Spider-Man <laughs> number 22. No, I'm kidding. We do switch it up a little bit. Batman 72. Amazing Spider-Man 23. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I love Spider-Man. Uh, the Superior Spider-Man number seven. We have Batman 55. A few, you gotta grab a few issues of that Batman run. Venom number 14. That's the... Uh, you know, the, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Venom number 15, and Venom number 11, 
But that's not all, folks. I got a couple Christmas present comics to show off. So sticking with the theme of Venom now. My dad was kind enough to get me uh, Venom number seven, which is the first appear uh, cameo appearance of Dylan Brock, I do believe. And uh, it's nearly perfect. It's got a little, little crease right there. And maybe a, a few smaller ones up top. But nothing I don't think that that couldn't be uh, pressed out or anything. And then... We have... Amazing Spider-Man 252 A newsstand edition. Uh, that's the... For those that don't know, the first appearance of the symbiote costume. Uh, it's tied with the first. I had the other first, which is a Marvel team-up issue. I think like 142 or something. 142, 146, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, but because of this iconic cover, people tend to gravitate more towards this one. Uh, I definitely like it better. It's got that uh, classic Amazing Fantasy 15 homage uh, with the new black symbiote costume. It's a great collector's item. You guys have seen me unbox one before, but this one's a much nicer copy. There are a few uh, creases, uh, you know, spine ticks that I don't think pressing is going to completely get rid of all that. But I still think it's a very, uh, you know, 9.0, 9.2 maybe if, if we're lucky. Yeah. Candidate. Maybe with pressing that, you know, pressing does help with some small spine ticks, so. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but anyways, thanks guys for tuning in. Remember, if you haven't already, you like what you saw, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see more. Leave a comment. What do you want us to review next after The Matrix and Resident Evil? And uh, tune in next time. Let's hope the battery's not now. Yeah. Oh, you didn't even hear it.